Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss a type of bone tumor known as giant cell tumor. I have already discussed the classification of bone tumor and osteosarcoma in a previous video. Now going to what is giant cell tumor. It is a benign tumor uh, of bone. It, its origin is unknown and it is a benign but it is a locally progressive, locally aggressive neoplasm. Now it is also known as osteoclastoma. Now why it is known as osteoclastoma we will see shortly. But why its name is giant cell tumor? Because if we look at it morphologically, it contains mixture of mononuclear cells and interspersed are many of multinucleated, multinucleated giant cells. Now these giant cells, they are osteoclast type of joint cells and they are multinucleated. So because they are presence, there is presence of many uh, giant cells in this tumor, therefore the name of this tumor goes to a giant cell tumor and as the, these are osteoclast type of giant cell the name goes to be osteoclastoma also okay now going to the sites which are affected by this tumor it affects mostly the epiphysis epiphysis and the adjacent metaphysis mostly the epiphysis is involved and of the long bones such as distal femur proximal tibia uh, that is the knee joint distal radius proximal humerus so sometimes as it affects the knee joint the presenting feature can be arthritis in some patients also other bones can be involved any bone of the body can be involved as such the tumor 95% they are unifocal but multi uh, focal tumors are also seen mostly they are solitary but sometimes multicentric or multiple tumors can also present now what does this do is giant cell tumor it erodes into the overlying bone plate and it can destroy the overlying cortex and it can also bulge uh, produce soft tissue mass and uh, this mass can be uh, delineated by a reactive bone it can also present such uh, as such okay now going to what is the morphology what is the gross picture of this tumor what is the microscopy of this tumor and then we will discuss the pathogenesis of this tumor and uh, going uh, firstly going to the gross description so how this tumor looks is it is a large red brown tumor okay you can see in this picture firstly we see in this picture so this is a tumor so tumor it is mostly it is a it is as it's a benign tumor uh, it is mostly well lineated okay you can see over here it's well lineated tumor but the picture inside it is a red brown tumor it can undergo many type of secondary changes such as cystic change can be seen you can find cystic change there can be necrosis present hemorrhage can be present such changes can be seen in this tumor so uh, going to uh, how does this tumor grossly look like is it is a large red brown tumor it can undergo cystic degeneration it has well uh, defined borders now the cut surface can show various changes it can be hemorrhagic changes can be seen cystic changes can be seen sometimes yellowish parts can be seen which are xanthomatous changes sometimes white uh, part are seen which are fibrous changes and sometimes necrosis can be seen necrosis or um, if, if it is a large tumor necrosis takes place now uh, as we already discussed sometimes there is uh, a, a, uh, the lesion it uh, erodes into the bone it leads to cortex thinning it leads to uh, invasion into the soft tissue with a pushing border this is very important it has a pushing border because a benign tumor they have a pushing border they don't have an infiltrating border so this can be seen and sometimes there is a rim of reactive bone seen okay now going to the microscopy microscopy is very characteristic this therefore the name of this tumor giant cell tumor you can see these are the beautiful giant cell giant cells which can be seen these are uh, multinucleated they can uh, they have up to 50 to 100 nucleus also so these are these uh, this gives a characteristic picture of this tumor and the 
the second uh, portion of this uh, microscopy these are the mononuclear cells you can see the nuclei uh, as such is similar to that of the multinucleated cell only the nucleus is same you can see this nucleus resembles the mononuclear cell nu uh, nucleus however these are multinucleated and these are mononuclear these are the two portions the two uh, populations of cell which are seen so microscopy firstly they are oval mononuclear cells that is the proliferating component of the tumor that is the malignant part of the tumor and scattered within this background we can find osteoclast type of giant cell having up to 100 or more nuclei secondary changes as we discussed in the gross feature necrosis hemorrhage reactive bone formation hemosiderin deposition can also be seen now going to the uh, some variants of this tumor now it is a benign tumor as we already discussed but sometimes malignancy can be seen so the malignancy which can be seen is of two types primary and secondary primary is very uncommon that means a high grade sarcoma uh, has developed in this giant cell tumor and it develops mostly from the mononuclear population of the cell okay and it can go into any type of sarcoma okay and then going to the secondary what is secondary means after the treatment when we treat the giant cell tumor after any surgery or low dose of radiation therapy then high grade of sarcoma has developed this is a secondary form of malignant giant cell tumor going to the pathophysiology now as we have already discussed the malignant part is the mononuclear part and giant cell are not neoplastic now how, what is neoplastic the mononuclear the mononuclear cell they are neoplastic and these cells they have a expression of rank ligand now this rank ligand uh, they express these the uh, rank ligand and also other uh, markers like alkaline phosphatase osteoclastin these are important for diagnosis okay now the rank ligand what does it do is rank ligand it binds to the rank on the osteoclast precursor cells and this leads to formation of giant cells this is the main reason of giant cells so treatment uh, uh, when we uh, do the treatment of these patients we look for rank ligand inhibitors because the neoplastic cells they express this protein uh, this marker sorry now going to the treatment part now treatment can be surgically curettage is done and the curettage we locally remove the tumor um, but reoccurrence is very common it is around 15 to 50 percent they reoccur after the curettage uh, also anti osteoclast agents can be used like bisphosphonates can be used and a uh, anti rank ligand monoclonal antibody can also be used as we already discussed this is expressed by the neoplastic cells so this will be beneficial so this was all about the giant cell tumor do like share and subscribe to this channel if you like these type of video thanks for watching this video